All right, so we're in the kitchen with Chef Michael Kellum from Riverwalk Restaurant in New York Town. And this morning, wow, we are cooking. You've already got the stove going. And what do we got? What are you making today? Well, in honor of your birthday today. Oh, in honor of my birthday. And we're going to make you a beer fan today. <laughs> okay. We're going to do three uh, courses with beer. We're going to do sauteed clams with bacon, garlic, and pilsner. Ooh. We're going to do oyster and cream leeks. Fancy. Topped with a Guinness Hollandaise. Mm -hmm. And I made beer masseau, which beer is a amazing. beer beer tiramisu. I love it. I love it. All right, so uh, we will get started, really get started cooking in okay. just a moment. We're back in the kitchen now with Chef Michael Kellum from Riverwalk Restaurant in New Yorktown. And this morning he is doing his thing and we're cooking with beer. Now you mentioned a beer amisu. That's a take on tiramisu and we're going to do that later on in the show. But right now we're starting with some oysters, clams. Yes, I, all this I'm multitasking stuff. right here. <laughs> all right. Uh, this morning I'm the culinary ambassador for three restaurants. Okay. Riverwalk Restaurant and Water Street Grill, which is located in Yorktown. And the York River Oyster Company, which is located in Gloucester. Gotcha. And a couple things I'd like to mention is that we're doing oysters topped with cream leeks. Ooh. So I've already had my leeks cut this morning. Is it tough to cook oysters? It's not. It's kind because of one of those things that you think is fancy, so people probably you know stay away. From I love it a an bit. oyster, raw, fried, steamed. You can't go wrong with it. And so today, creamed leeks yes. with the oysters. So, so that's what we've got right here. Yes, and this skillet here, I got uh, about. Two tablespoons of butter melted. Mm -hmm. I got the leeks cooking. They're gonna cook about four minutes until they get nice and tender. Mm -hmm. And the great I mean, something about leeks is the smell really takes me back to the first day of culinary school. Okay. Because the first thing we did was stocks, and just it just brings back that nostalgia. Gotcha. So while this is cooking here, it's gonna take a couple more minutes. And this larger pan right here, That's I've got some bacon. I know that. I got the bacon. <laughs> garlic and onions cooking. This is going to be for the uh, steamed clams. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm going to add 24 clams. I'm going to put it right here in the pot. Just drop them right in. And the, camp, the clams cook up pretty quickly. We're going to cover this up and then we're going to pour the beer in here. So when you're cooking with beer, is it tough? It's not, but you have to make sure that the pairings are good. With this clam dish right here, it does have bacon, and you don't want it to have a weird taste with a heavy beer, so I'm using a Pilsner, which is okay. a very light beer. You have to think about what beer you're going to use. Exactly, mm -hmm. and with these oysters, I'm going to use Guinness, which is a stout, mm -hmm. which has roasted barley, so it's going to be more of a flavor with it, because the leeks are mild and the oysters are salty. So are these the kinds of things that you have on the menu at uh, any of the restaurants? I know at Riverwalk, you said that the, the clams. We do have steamed clams in all the restaurants. But today, since we're going to do beer, we usually uh, use wine. But today, I'm going to talk about beer because at Water Street Grill, we have 20 beers on tap okay. that change daily. Oh, wow. And one of the great things at Water Street Grill and the York River Oyster Company is that you can purchase a growler. And fill it up, huh? For $10. <laughs> and fill it up with any of the beers that you like. Take it home, enjoy it, come on back and refill Maybe it. Maybe cook with it a little bit. Exactly, you can cook with it. Uh, it could be a nice paperweight. It could be- <laughs> Hold things down. It can hold things down. So we got this cooking now right here. And so when those clams start to open, open up, up, that's when you know. It's gonna be great. I got some but uh, bread with butter. I'm gonna toast off as a nice accompaniment. Mm -hmm. And right now these leeks are getting really nice and tender. I'm gonna pour some cream in here. And we're going to reduce that to half. Mm -hmm. And so you have those uh, tray of oysters over there on the side. Yes. So is that something you, you do separately, obviously? Yes. You want to cook this first. Then we're going to top the oysters. We're going to pop them in the oven. We're going to bake them for about 10 minutes Ooh. if they're nice and bubbly. And right here I made some hollandaise sauce. Got some uh, Guinness stout in here. We're going to top that with that. You're always bringing oysters when you come to the Hampton Roads show. Well, we, I'm very fortunate that my father was a waterman, mm -hmm. and my first job was working with my brother. And I just have a very deep affection for the Chesapeake Bay and the watermen. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things I like to mention is that if you go on Facebook and like Water Street Grill, Riverwalk, or York River Oyster Company, mm -hmm. you'll always be updated on our oyster specials. And the Chesapeake Bay Foundation would like for you to keep your oyster shells. They'll come to you, pick them up, 
or you can go to one of their recycling facilities mm -hmm. and they'll take the oyster shells and they'll put them back into the bay to help oysters. Oh, really? Well, that's a good thing to know. If you're going to eat your oysters, save those shells and get them recycled. If you, yes. So with the leeks um, and you put the cream in there, yes. it's just going to let that reduce a little We're bit? We're going to let that reduce. It's mm -hmm. going to be nice and golden. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with cream, butter, and leeks. And then you're going to top it on the oysters. And how long yes. are you going to pop that in the oven for? For about 10 minutes. And that's all it takes? That's all it takes. When you pull it out, it's going to be ready to go? Yes. Okay, and then we got our clams. It looks oh, like they're, they're starting to open up. up. Yes. All right, so why don't I let you continue with that? And when we're coming back, we're making the beer amisu. Is it going to be the same flavors that we're used to for tiramisu? It's going to be better, and better. it's going to be a birthday cake for you. <laughs> I appreciate that, You're Chef very Michael. welcome. All right, so stick around. We'll be doing beer amisu. We're back in the kitchen now with Chef Michael Kellum from Riverwalk Restaurant in Yorktown. And this morning we're cooking with beer. He's been working on the oysters with creamed leek and Guinness. As you can see, we just pulled that out of the oven over here. And here we've got some clams, bacon. That's cooking up. And now it is time for dessert. We're making not tiramisu, but... Beer misu. <laughs> so what's the trick to getting a beer misu? And I mean, you said it's not going to quite have the same flavor, obviously. No. Traditionally, tiramisu has like triple sec and Italian liqueurs. Mm -hmm. And if you're overambitious, you'll make the lady fingers yourself. One time I did try to make it without much success. Did it like a bunch of wet Twinkies. So oh, I had no. it. Oh, no. So fortunately, we, find, we found these lady fingers are already made. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole lot easier and quicker and so basically what we're going to do yeah, start laying it is out. we're going to soak that we have coffee that I made last night because mm -hmm. I, I left it out so it gets a strong flavor mm -hmm. and then I added chocolate porter to it Ooh. and you want to add like a sweet flavored beer to it because it's going to be dessert. You don't want to put Heineken or natural light in here. So you want to put like a, what did you use? I used a chocolate porter. But we also have this beer called Sweet Baby Jesus, which is a chocolate mm. peanut butter porter. Oh, wow. So real quickly, you take your lady fingers, you soak them in the mixture you here. Kinda, you don't want to let you them don't, soak too Oh, much. no, you don't want to get soggy. Mm-hmm. You do a layer. But as before I did this, I mixed together one and a half cups of cream cheese, a tablespoon of vanilla, a cup of confectionery sugar. Well, and that's the, the, the really good stuff. That's the filling, <laughs> yes. The sweet stuff, anyway. And this is um, a dessert that you guys offer. This is, we just started our new menu last week. Okay. This is a dessert that we featured at Water Street Grill, and it's been a big hit. People look at it, and they're like, beer, masseau. Right. So cooking with beer, is that something you do often? I drink more than I cook with it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we do, because... We have the 20 options that we have on tap, which change daily. We do beer battered fish, beer battered shrimp, uh, mustard sauces with um, arrogant bastard beer. Mm -hmm. And then you keep, keep a lot of beers on tap? Exactly. Uh, each day we have a new keg being switched over. Mm -hmm. We have a beer menu, which has all the listings and the taste, the alcohol level. We do beer flights. Life. So you can try four beers instead of one. And you guys have a beer event coming up, that's right? Yes. Wednesday, October 1st, we have a Steal the Pint Night featuring Ooh. Sierra Nevada. They're going to be featuring seven beers that are in production that they're going to be releasing in the next couple of weeks. Oh, you can taste it first. Exactly. And the great <laughs> thing about Steal the Pint is, is that you come in, you try the beer, and you keep the glass. Oh. So you're not going to bring your own glass, but you get one to take home. No, because sometimes people like to walk out with glasses because they... So yes. now it's to say steal the pint. Beer in hand, right. Steal gonna, the pint. So that should be a fun event. Um, you get to keep your pint and you get to try a bunch of different beers, it sounds like. Yes. You can try some beer and me soup. Maybe have some, order some clams or and, some oysters. And on August 19th, we're going to have an oyster roast. Okay. We're going to have a grill set up outside. We're going to roast oysters. It's all you can eat for $30. And it's going to be $35 the day of. Mm -hmm. We had one last Sunday. We had a military brass band out there. There were eight pieces. They had the whole patio oh, dancing. Oh, wow. That sounds like a lot of fun over there. So this is at the River Walk Restaurant. They're located at 323 Water Street in New Yorktown. You can call 875-1522. You can also check them out on the web, riverwalkrestaurant.net. And Chef Michael, I'm going to let you finish up that tiramisu, and we'll check on the, the finished finish product in just a little bit. Thank you so much. <laughs>